G'day everybody, and welcome back to Greenwich Valley for episode, I think, number 14. It's nice to have you back. So, cows have got water, they've got food, they're happy. I've got an employee over at Field 12 doing a fertilising job for me. As you can see, our money going down up in the top right hand corner while they're working away and uh, I have purchased a tether. This is the Kuhn GF6502 and we're going to go head off and uh, TED Field 25 for starters. Now I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing this right because of the double A's but uh, it's either Stratus or Stratus. Just want to say thanks for all your interaction in the comments and uh, I appreciate your suggestions very much. So what we need to do is we need to go and give, it, give this uh, grass a TED and hopefully despite the fact that uh, we're missing quite a bit of drying time if we can if we have a look in seasons hang on a sec as you can see down here from today and three o'clock uh, we've got one plus signal um, symbol in the drying potential here and then it goes down to zero uh, and then we've got drying potential tomorrow afternoon as well. Oh, actually from the morning, really, from 9am. So hopefully I don't get, uh, we don't get any of those random um, old random rainfalls that I seem to get overnight a lot on this, even though it's not forecast, or otherwise it's going to upset our hay production. So we'll get this closed, fold that out, so this unit cost me uh, $8,000, uh, it seems like a pretty good unit, 6.5 metre width, working width, so uh, hopefully it goes alright, let's have a look. And off we go. Yeah, so we'll get this field, Ted. Hopefully by uh, tomorrow morning or mid-morning tomorrow, we'll have hay on the ground. I've also taken the time to um, to sort out our shed that we're going to dump this raw stuff in. So. The whole hay process in uh, seasons for 19 is uh, is a little bit different with the drying times and stuff like that, but it's pretty awesome, really. I'm not overly sh sure whether I'm having any real effect on this, but uh, we'll do it anyway. We'll give it a turnover. It might help it dry. So I hope everybody's enjoying the series so far. I'm absolutely uh, loving doing these recordings and stuff. It's quite fun. I get a lot out of it. And uh, it gives me some good gaming time as well. Sorry, I knocked the mic a couple of times then. Now, also on top of that... Um, as I was talking about in one of my previous episodes, the Unreal Store giveaway uh, free games monthly, sometimes more than one or two, and uh, this at the at the current moment, they're actually giving away um, Kingdom Come Deliverance which is an RPG game uh, I think it's set in the 
early 14th century I think um, quite a massive game and uh, I've been playing that and Mrs. Simidium has been playing that a lot as well it's an awesome game absolutely loving it uh, I haven't recorded an episode of Farm Sim for about a week um, the episode that did come out most recently was a pre-recorded one and as I said I pre-record my episodes anyway um, so if I don't respond to any of your comments or anything like that that's the reason why but yeah we're still on day one early summer which is the same day as I left you last time and it's currently 12.41 in the afternoon I thought I might get, uh, finally get an employee out uh, bringing some income in for us while we tend to the farm here, uh, which is going to be mighty helpful. We still have uh, harvester considerations to make. Uh, do need a manure spreader because I think I'm going to spread manure on this uh, on this field once we've picked up this hay. But all in all, I think we're in a pretty good position so far. Once we've got this off the ground, uh, I may I may compact the uh, the silage clamp and get some silage happening. And once the silage has happened, then I think we probably might consider looking at an option to purchase some more cows I mean we've got 20 in there at the moment uh, we were going to keep 20 for the first season but I don't know we might add another 20 if we can afford it but we'll see how we go because our money is running pretty low we're sitting on 60 grand and I am still trying to avoid a loan whether that's going to be possible or not I'm not sure But we'll see how we go anyway. There we go. It looks like that field has been completed. So I can head over there in a minute and, uh, and check out what that work has done and hopefully cash that in. That'll be another seven grand for us. And then I think we'll probably, uh, I might throw the employee on another one actually. I mean, there's three other fertilization jobs going at the moment, so. Let's see. It's a little hard to tell where you have and haven't been through here, but. We'll be okay. So I hope your farming's going well. I'm really enjoying this map and I'm really enjoying taking my time doing these cows and uh, seeing what I can make of it. I'm not in a massive hurry. Still learning a lot about, uh, about Farming Simulator 19. Still learning a lot about seasons as well. Certainly with a little tacker, a very young one, then you uh, don't get as much time to do the things that you were doing, but uh, it's worth it. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's pretty good. It's a hundred, 175 pound... Uh, wage payment for that employee to do that field um, and that field's worth seven just over seven grand so you know that's not too bad actually so having employees do that type of thing is probably worthwhile 
The other thing I wouldn't mind trying to do on seasons is uh, is give horses a go because horses are completely different as well. In seasons 19. I'm hoping we're definitely getting this. I, I might be over tedding but uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's giving everything a good turnover. I uh, considered the possibility of throwing in a, a multi-fruit silo. Unfortunately, I've checked the prices of those out and man, they are expensive. I think the cheapest multi-fruit that I've got in the mods is 80 grand. Um, plus whatever landscaping is required to do that. And I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it either. So... That might not be an option yet. I just end up, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the oats and the barley when I get them off the fields. It may be a case of uh, having to dump them in one of the sheds or sell them straight off the bat. I know that selling them straight off the bat probably isn't when we're going to get the best price, but it might be all we can do really. Okay, I think that's probably covered this field. Hopefully that helps along the drying process. So we'll shut him off. Fold him up. Yeah, it's a pretty nice little tether, I think a mod off the mod hub. Alright, open this fella up. And I might throw this down in here somewhere. I am going to need to sort all of my equipment out. Um, no, I might actually throw it in the shed for now because I'm going to need to access that lime to throw some lime on uh, the field in front of us, which is field 24. I might bring him in here. See if I can find a spot over in the corner here to tuck him in. Without scraping it on the wall. No, 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 no. There we go. Alright, that should do there. And... May grab this as well while we're here and see if we can throw some lime in it. Okay. Got you, you got some fur in you. Which we don't need at the moment, so what I might do is just pull up here. That's it. And uh empty that. Lovely, and it happened to go right in the way, didn't it? Of course it did. Okay, let's see if I can squeeze past here. There we go. Should be okay. I should be able to get back there and get some of that lime, I think. I'll be able to squeeze this in. Alright. There we go. 
go. Should be okay. Hmm. Can I get that one? By squeezing in like that. It's a tight squeeze, but seem to work all right. Okay. That probably should be enough to do this field. Let's have a look. Put that brake on. And into here. So it was field 12 that our employee did. And that was worth uh, seven, just over seven grand. All right. So if we take off plowing, we need some lime down here. And we also need lime on 25, but we can't do anything with that at the moment. So... Let's see if we can throw some lime down here. Hopefully it won't affect our crop in any way. Alright. There we are. See, even up here would be a nice place to put a little bit of a silo if, uh, if worse came to worse. And we did have to purchase one. Okay, and I'm not sure how much our manure spread is going to cost us either. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute because uh, I definitely need to get one of those. I think we've got enough manure for a full load, which should give us uh, enough for field 25 for one stage of fertilization. We're not producing any slurry on the cows. To produce slurry, then you uh, you don't give them straw. But when you give them straw, they produce manure. So I think I'd rather do the manure spreading. I'm not sure whether there's a ratio and whether they would uh, produce a lot more um, slurry than they would manure or vice versa, but it's no drama. Alright, around we go here. Turn him off. Should have got that. Yep, that's good. You can see there's still some uh, grass that I left over on the field here when I was doing my collection, but that's okay. It's not too much, so... I do like spreading lime. I like spreading lime because uh, you get to see, <laughs> you see your results directly. It's, it's a lot easier to see where you've spread than say if you're spreading fertilizer, especially from inside the cabin. But uh, you can see your results quite easily and see your misses as well, as you can see. Okay. If I lifted that up, it'd probably be a little bit better. All right. Keep hitting the microphone. Sorry about that. If it's, if it's making a noise, if it's not, then just ignore what I just said. Okay. Straight across here. 
Might be uh, just a little bit to pick up over there. Yeah, oh, looks like I left quite a bit out here actually. Wonder whether it's worth coming out here and picking it all up or not. I mean, otherwise it'll rot away. I don't think there's as much as it looks, so I might actually leave it, I think. Alright. Well, we're nearly done with this field. That's another task out of the way that we really needed to... Uh, get out of the way which is good there we go might just do that little bit there why not what we got come on there you go And there's a tiny little bit here as well. Perfect. Alright. Uh, let's see yeah I might lime field 25 before I give it a stage of fert so right, what we might do is get rid of that first so I'll park this guy up here there we go move that into the shed Happy cow, happy cow. As you can see, I've moved this around a little bit um, and cleared it out. I'll probably stick some hay over this side, some straw over that side or vice versa. Just enough so that we can come in and scoop it up when we need to, which would be good. Okay. Back in the Massey. that okay so as you can tell probably tell by now this isn't uh, this is a, a long-winded series I'm not in a hurry to get stuff done at all um, just taking my time, not fast forwarding too much. Running at five times most of the time. And uh, trying not to whiz through the seasons. Although through winter, when we don't have that much to do, I may, if I'm not doing any forestry, I may actually, I um, think I may actually fast forward but we'll see how we go. Okay, so I need to get you. That's it. Bring him around to the fert shed around here. What? Maybe stack him on top of that if we can get him in there. Should be enough room. Let's see. Can I squeeze in there? That's the question. Alright. That looks okay. Into forward. Let's see if I can get this fella up on top of here. Oh, actually, that's right. There's a collision on those, isn't there? 
All right, that's a bit of a problem. So basically what happens is when you uh, take bags off the top of that, it still keeps the collision box there. It doesn't actually reduce the collision box on it, so it's a bit of a shit. I'll move him in front of this. Just throw him down there, I think. Alright, that should be alright. Now, I'm just going to move this uh, loading wagon out of the way. There we go. Now, where am I going to put you? That's the question. throw you around here for now that'll, that'll be alright uh, the reason why is I want to get in there and start doing some compacting see if I can get everything uh, to a point where it's nearly 100% compacted I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the whole thing for another load of grass off field 24 uh, I think it would probably be a wise idea to do that, but um, especially if we're considering getting um, getting another lot of cows, we're probably going to need double the amount of silage that we have at the moment, so, alright, where are we, throw you down there. see you can go in there pick up the bucket and uh, I probably need to change these uh, crop tires over for um, for some wider tires I think which will take this down to the workshop and do that I will start compacting this and uh, probably leave it up there for this episode. All right, let's see. Take you off. Mm, as a multi-fruit silo would be really good um, if we can afford it, but maybe we'll be able to afford it next year. We'll see how we go. Still have my mind up on what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm probably going to um, to get rid of it. Uh, I will compensate myself for the loss. Put that on. Compensate myself for the loss of money because it's a, a, a bit of a dodgy mod. And we'll probably have to get something else. So I need to look for something um, suitable anyway. Okay, well, it's not really going to be that good at compacting, is it? Because it's a, only a two-wheel drive, but I do like to compact with a uh, front-end loader on, so like a, a bucket and stuff, so um, front-end loaders for me are probably the best units to, to compact a, um, a silage clamp. However, they're also very expensive to buy. And we can't afford it, so we just need to spend a little bit of extra time doing that, which is okay. So, what do you guys normally do when you um, when you do a silage clamp? Do you use a silage roller? Do you use a front end loader? Do you just run up and down with the tractor? How do you do it? What's your preferable method? And how do you get the best results? I think uh, I've always got the best results from actually um, from using a front end loader, but uh, yeah. As I said, if you've got the money on your farm to do that, then that's okay. If you don't have the money to do that, it makes it a little bit hard, doesn't it? 
So we'll see how we go here doing it this way. Get it all up against the back wall so that we can get our next load in, no worries. There we go. Okay guys, well, I'm going to call this an episode. Got a little bit done. Got a fair, uh, got field 24 limed. So that's out of the way. Field 25 is tethered. Hopefully by tomorrow morning when I see you next time, we actually have a bit of uh, hay to pick up. Which is certainly going to help us with our um, with our budget in regards to our cows. At the moment, we're still looking like we're sitting on a bit of a cow profit, so that's good. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, hit like subscribe all that type of stuff all that type of blah 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 okay up and back there we go and uh, I'm just gonna keep going with this and I need to go and sort out that worker and complete that contract and probably set them on another contract as I said there's three fertilizing ones to do so all right I will see you in the next episode Thanks for watching, see you then.